This is a 22 News Storm Team Weather Alert. Good Friday morning. We do have that 20 days storm team weather alert that, that is up as we go through today and into tonight. It's really for this evening and into the overnight. We got that threat for some severe weather. Most of the daytime is going to be fine. Just some scattered showers, a few downpours here or there. Chicopee, you can see we got some low lying fog at the moment, some light mist out there as well. Uh, there is going to be some patchy fog for most of us, especially here in Hamden County this morning. So give yourself some extra time for the morning commute to Springfield. You can see some of that low lying cloud cover at the moment, but uh, just again, some light drizzle right now. Most of the fog is in Hampshire and Hamden counties. You can see Springfield two and a half mile visibility, a mile and a half visibility in Westfield. Got a lot of water vapor in the air, some tropical air is in place because of this post tropical system that will be passing off to our west as we go into the afternoon, especially for later today. But temperatures right now 64 Northampton, 66 in Springfield dew points out there in the 60s as well. You will notice rising humidity levels as we go throughout the day. We'll see these dew points getting into the 70s for the afternoon. And again, that's also associated with what was Tropical Storm Debbie as it passes to the west of us, bringing the humidity up. Again, that tropical moisture is in place for today. So for the 20th day storm team day cast, we're going to stay mostly cloudy throughout the entire day. Scattered showers on and off through the morning into the afternoon, but really no threat of any severe weather during the morning or early afternoon. It's really as we go through later today, especially in the evening and into the overnight, we got that chance for some strong and severe storms to develop in a high temperature right around 80 degrees as we go into the afternoon as well. And of course, that's the top of the 20th day storm team forecast focus, mostly cloudy showers and storms throughout much of the day. It's really tonight though that the rain will become heavy at times and we could see some strong to severe storms. Again, the overall risk is fairly low today for some strong to severe weather, but it's not zero. But then going into the weekend, it looks mostly sunny, very comfortable, low humidity for Saturday and Sunday. So any outdoor plans this weekend look perfectly fine. So right now it looks like most of us are dry here on radar, but there's a lot of low lying moisture that the radar is not picking up on in that low lying cloud cover. So there is some mist and some drizzle out there. So if you walk outside, you'll notice some of that mist in the air. But a lot of the heavier showers and downpours are to the north and to the west. And a lot of the rain today during the daytime hours will fall to the west of us back in New York, down through Pennsylvania. But then going into the evening and into the overnight, we got our threat here in western Massachusetts of seeing some strong to severe thunderstorms develop as that storm system pushes off to the north. We could get the back end of it. So uh, level one threat very low. It's the lowest on the scale one to five from the National Weather Service, but it is up for all of western Massachusetts under a level one threat far, far southwestern Berkshire County under a level two threat. But again, it's majority of us a level one. So the main concern for today will be some heavy rain as we go into the evening and into the overnight could cause some minor flooding in some spots and also some wind. We got winds up to 60 miles per hour possible, very low. Uh, National Weather Service giving us a two to four percent risk of that. And also the very low risk for any tornadic activity today here in Western Massachusetts. Again, this is very low. National Weather Service giving us a 2% risk of seeing any tornadoes. So again, very low, but it's not zero. So we'll keep an eye on things as we go into the evening and into the overnight. So for the 20th day storm team skycast, seven o'clock this morning, some scattered showers out there. Most of the daytime is fine. 9 a.m., just a few scattered sprinkles into the afternoon, 12 o'clock here. Just kind of a nuisance throughout the day with these scattered showers and drizzle. After three o'clock, though, we start to see some of these downpours out of the west here. Here we are, 6 p.m. You can see some of these downpours and some steadier showers moving in. But by the overnight, 10 o'clock, we got the chance of some of these stronger storms coming in. Here we are around 11 p.m. tonight. Skycast picking up on some of these stronger thunderstorm cells coming through. So a lot of this happens while we are sleeping. So that's why I'm saying make sure you have your phone nearby, turn the ringer on. So in case there is some weather alerts you need to be aware of, you can hear your phone go off. And then as we go into the tomorrow morning, 2 a.m. on Saturday, some scattered showers and downpours. And then by tomorrow, morning 10 o'clock the sun is out and it's a beautiful day tomorrow and also sunday looks fantastic as well so what you need to know today to put it all together storms could develop after 3 p.m but the main threat for severe weather is 6 p.m to 2 a.m mostly tonight and then again strong and severe as possible heavy rain could cause minor flooding not widespread flooding we're not expecting that just some minor minor uh, ponding in the roads and then strong winds and some low risk of some weak tornado activity is possible but again, very low 78 to 82 out there for today. 
We'll be in the 60s and 70s tonight, downpours and thunderstorms, and for the rest of the Twin Cities Storm Team 7-day forecast. Once we get through today, the rest of the 7-day looks fine. Lots of dry air and those temperatures in the 70s and 80s. 